Investigators tell us he confessed to five killings. Now, there's a lot to this story, so let, let's recap how it unfolded. About a week ago, firefighters extinguished a dumpster fire in the Western Hills area, and when the fire went out, they found the remains of three people inside. Fort Worth police say Thornburg also confessed to being involved in another suspicious death back in May, and he admitted to killing someone outside Texas in another state. Hard to keep up with all the details, so let's go live to Alex Rozier. Alex Thornburg is still in jail tonight. Yeah, Jason is in the Tarrant County Jail. He admitted police say to killing five different people over several months, but here's how he ended up in the jail tonight. Now, last Wednesday, police and fire found three dismembered bodies inside a burned trash can on Bonnie Drive. 42 year old David Luaris among the dead, and so were two adult women. While investigating, detectives observed a Jeep Cherokee dropping containers in the trash. That driver then started a fire and left the scene. They eventually learned that Jeep Cherokee belongs to Jason Nobody Thornburg. Thor Thornburg had been staying at a hotel in Euless. Surveillance video at the hotel showed him leaving that night with multiple containers. He's an electrician, and while investigating, police found him at work Monday. They interviewed him, and he confessed in detail to killing those three people and two others. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family members and loved ones affected by this tragedy. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the first responders who showed up on scene that day and the investigators who investigated this. It's not something anyone should ever have to see. Now, police say Thornburg also confessed to killing someone back in May. Detectives said he killed a 60 year old man, then uncapped a natural gas line and lit a candle. The home exploded, and today a wrecking crew finished the demolition of that home. Now, Jason also told police that he's responsible for the death of a woman who he referred to as his girlfriend in Arizona. So again, in total, he admitted to killing five people. Guys. As we sort through all of this information, the biggest question now, did he tell police why he did it? Is he police really don't know, but one thing that they did offer in their press conference today is that he acknowledged that he had some in depth understanding of the Bible and he said that he was called to commit sacrifices. Back to you. Thank you, Alex. And we did some more digging into Jason Thornburg's background. Here's what we found. He served a two year sentence for evading arrest with a vehicle in Wise County. Thornburg was released to mandatory supervision in May of 2019. He was discharged in June of last year. We will have more on this story ahead at 6 and 10. You can also read about it at WFAA.com.